I might have been sent a uh, Cree 8900 to work on. I guess it is upside down. Um, the report is that there's uh, no received signal strength indicator on the display. Now I think it'll poke around in here. Um, and I can see that someone's been soldering in here. Those two trimmers right there in the centre of the screen have got a little bit of solder blob on the legs so they've been played with. There's a missing part just there which is like should be a trimmer. There's a solder blob there and uh, looking around I noticed if I can find it again, where is it? Over here. Just down there, next to that IF filter, you see that part sitting on the board? Just floating there, little resistor on that earth track. Right there, it's just sitting there. This question is where the hell does that come from? It could be anywhere. I really do hate it people fuck with radios and actually have a clue what they're doing. Anyway, never mind. So, let's get my tweezers out. So, there's the part just there. Just sitting there, see it? So, I need to figure out where that came from. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I've already lost it, there he is. Right, um, because what I originally saw was this. I think that's okay. Um, but there will be other stuff. I did see another part just now. Where's that gone? Here we go. That resistor there is not soldered on very well. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there's even more problems than that. I found one part floating around. I need to figure out where it came from. But the uh, you can see that trimmer there. Oh, it looks like it should be a trimmer there missing. Um, and there's a bit of solder crap here, a bit of crap around there. So, um, and I believe this is the area for the RF signal, so that passes through this chip here. And so, I was, I was thinking that maybe one of these was the RX because there's one for sideband, one for AM, FM, you know. There's two there, there's two there, and there's two there, and there's another one there, but I need to actually trace and figure out what they actually are. I should look a bit further in the, in the uh, service manual, they're probably in there anyway, but let's do a visual inspection first, see what I can actually see, and well, I can see plenty. So I managed to trace this to this circuit here for the signal meter. So that transistor there is switching it should be that pot and that transistor there should be switching that pot so with that there I'm probing that I'm currently on sideband no voltage if I flick that round to what's it in AM no voltage on that one so that's switching to that pot so at least I know there's voltage there for the signal reader. If I measure this one, this is the sideband one. Now yeah, it's voltage here. Yeah. So I know that there is voltage going to those two transistors at least. Alright, so I've just been trying to trace this circuit because I don't have a um, board layout unfortunately. So, but I do know that pin 10 of this IC is the AGC detector input, which is what comes from the RF stages. Now, I've been trying to trace it through, and that resistor I just stand here, that 0 ohm resistor, um, which is not soldered correctly, which I already pointed out. There's a wire right there. That wire there goes to pin 10 of that IC. But if I probe onto the edge of that resistor, I actually don't get anything. Try to get onto it. Nothing there, nothing that side. But there's an avaya. So I think the issue is actually that resistor's not soldered down. Let's try that, shall we? Resolder that and see what happens. 
Alright, so I've resolved that resistor. It's excused the noise. The heat gun is still uh, dropping in temperature. So, pin 10 up there onto the other side of the resistor, which is a bit awkward because the angles are met with the camera. Now, conductivity on that side of the resistor, which means that is now working. So, now I shall actually try to receive and see if it's got a signal or not. Let's have a look. How lucky am I going to be? Is this going to be it or not? So I have a signal going in. There we go, we've got a signal. Yay, cool. Right, so I found a diagram layout for this board. So that resistor which was lifted was R205, which goes through to D30, which is the detector diode, which I have pictured here. There. So that's all the RF receive side that goes through there, through the IF, and it's supposed to come through to here and then pass through to the actual squelch and signal meter and stuff like that. And uh, that uh, resistor is actually in series with this connection here. And uh, that's why there's no signal meter.